count the number of users or count the number of user events performed by MacBook Pro users. Count the number of user events performed by MacBook Pro users. Output the results along with the event name. Sort the result based on the event count in descending order. So most to least. Device. So we'll first probably just filter the device. So we need row counts of user events. Add the results along with the event name. So we'll definitely need event name. We definitely need device. Filter device to just gonna look at the output so I know how it's spelled. Oh, that's annoying. I guess I'll just scroll so it's called MacBook Pro like this. Mac space, or MacBook space pro lowercase, okay. I'll put the result along with the event name. We also need the event name. Print out event name column. Okay, which is call event type, okay. So we need that. Sort based on counts, okay. They have event name, event count, okay, okay. So first, we'll group by ticket device name. Oh, that's nice. They, they told us right here that the casing was all going to be a lowercase. Um, use group by to group results based on the event name. And then we will count. Okay, okay, so select. Um, everything from, let's just keep everything from group by, group by, uh, event type, group by, group results based on event name. device equals MacBook Pro group by group by okay, let's give that a try one oh no how long Oh, it's event name, oopsie, it's event name, name, let's get that try. run.
Select for Actually, I'm going to use this one. This is a good template. Select count when I need to count. User events, user events, user events. Try that. Event type user ID. Um, let's just do this. Comma. So they're looking at customer ID. Um, So mine will be called the last year. The last. Da 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 with what they call user event. Output the device column and also filter the device column to this. And then we're sorry, going to grab our group by event name. Event name. Event name and event count is the expected outcome headers. Select count event. I don't know how to give a new name to. As maybe I should use as as event count. And then no quotations from table where. Select. Wow, I was not going to come. I was not going to sort this out on my own here. So they're saying select and set device. They're selecting the event name. I'll just follow them. Select event name. And then every Everything count everything as event count. So hold on, they're not counting on event type, they're counting event name. My one comment is that the columns are the names aren't great. From okay, this table where okay, okay, I'm I'm okay here. Group by event name. Okay, so I'll do that, and then I'll do descending in a second. Finally, it has event name. Hold on, hold on. I still need to know the difference between event type and event name. Engagement. Sign up. 
Oh, I understand. This is a higher level view of what this event is. This is more specific. Homepage, login, these kind of activities fall under the bucket of engagement. Enter info falls under sign up flow. Create user. Okay. Got it. Hmm. I should have been a little more uh, detail oriented. So from there, we're going to do order by. Order by. Uh, order by. Event count descending. Let's actually let me compare that with the solution. Oh, nice. Good deal. Um, expected output. Home page, like message, login, view inbox, search, auto complete, send message. Wonderful. I need to research what this is. This might just be a, uh, Syntax different between MySQL and PostgreSQL. Because what I do is I, I typically don't wrap the asterisk in prints, prints, parentheses, print, parentheses. Okay. Projection column for information about sex, cis, six. Cis extents. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna stop reading out loud. Versus. What's the difference between. Thank you. Someone. You may have seen various discussions about the difference between, um, what did this discussion talk about? Thank you. I'm a newbie in PHP and MySQL. I have a question. What's the difference between this and this wrapped with these brackets? One counts the number of rows, the other. Oh! Oh! I see. I see, I see. So, I see, I understand now. Okay, I'm with the program now. When the asterisk is wrapped in these, it's just counting occurrences of something. If I left it out, then it would count literally everything in the table. Um, Okay, so it wouldn't be like one row, one representation. Okay, I understand now.